Hi students and welcome to the instructional video on how to take our client's sit and reach flexibility. Just to summarise, the sit and reach flexibility is a simple and effective way of measuring our client's hamstring flexibility. So the hamstrings are the muscle groups of the back of the lower leg, uh, back of the upper leg, sorry. And it also allows us to give us an idea of the tightness or the flexibility of our client's lumbar or lower back region. Now when we're getting our clients to go ahead and perform the sit and reach, the first thing we want our client to, to do with our clients is explain to them the purpose of the test. So we'd simply go ahead and say the purpose of the sit and reach is to give them some, to actually find out how flexible your hamstrings are and also to give, you, give us an idea of what your lower back flexibility is like. Once we've done that, we simply get our clients to take their shoes off because obviously some people's shoes can have a number of centimetres extra length on their height. So we get them to take their shoes off. And what we're simply getting our clients to do is to place their hands on top of this wooden um, pad here. And all we're getting our clients to do is by taking a nice, smooth, controlled movement and leaning forward as, as, forward as far as they can. Just keeping in mind that our knees our client's legs have to remain straight when they're moving into the movement and they have to hold the movement for at least three seconds. Go for it Simon. So he's leaning forward, he's reached the position, one, two, three. Once he's finished I'll hold on to the actual bar, he'll relax back and then I'll get a measure. So for today Simon's flexibility for his sit and reach is plus two. Just keep in mind that when you're getting your client to do sit and reach, some clients may have a tendency to bounce or do a sudden jerking movement when they do do their sit and reach. Again, it is very important that the client does go very smoothly into the movement and hold for at least three seconds. If the client does bounce or do the movement very quickly, there's a greater chance that they may either pull a muscle or do some damage to themselves. So again, smooth, controlled movements when they're going ahead and holding the actual point. Uh, holding the actual stretch for three seconds. Try not to emphasize the importance of them touching their toes. If a client ends up getting a negative, then that's what they actually achieve in the test. If you find that a client has such poor flexibility that they are well and truly off the actual measuring, to, uh, measuring length there, you can always go ahead and use a ruler as an addition to extend the actual length of the actual sit and reach bench there.